All right, so let's show you guys the money. The Dominican peso comes in denominations of 2,000, 1,000, 500, 200, and 150. And then the change is basically one peso, five pesos, 10 pesos, 25 pesos. That is Dominican money in change and in bills. What's up friends and family? I hope everybody is ready to have an amazing holiday. A couple of days right before Christmas. Um, shout to Will from Indiana. Take this back with the Kango. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to go over a quick video with you guys over the money. Dominican money, the pesos. Um, currently at this very moment, the, pay, the dollar to peso ratio is 52.85 at this very moment. Which you'll be getting in the Western Union on the street from certain people. So 52.85 is a, pretty much the number. On holidays and weekends, it may go down. So you may get 52, 52.50. But try to get as much as you can. But just give you guys an idea of the Dominican pesos. Now, there's a quick video I did right before this. But I'm explaining the pesos to you. So now this is a penny. Basically, a, the Dominican penny. One peso. Okay, really not worth much, but they add up. So it's one penny. You'll get this in change sometimes. This is one penny. One peso, excuse me. This is five pesos. Five Dominican pesos. And it's, it's, it's tagged in there. You can see it. Okay, so that's five Dominican pesos. This is ten Dominican pesos. Let me get that in the camera there. Ten pesos. And then we have 25 Dominican pesos. So we get that in focus right there. Okay. So now people always throw the change to the side or give tips. It's cool. But uh, I also tell people that sometimes you want to have that change for a moto, you know, or for when you need change, you want to break a 2,000 peso bill for 30 pesos. You might want to keep that change on you. So now let's go over the bills so that you guys can see the different bills, denominations of Dominican pesos. This right here is 50 pesos. Okay. That's 50 peso bill right there. Now, what I tell people is, even though it's 52, for your math, for dollars, this is for dollars now, for your math, I tell everybody, use 50 as a dollar. Yes, it is 52, but to make it easier on your brain, 50 is a dollar. That's, what, that's how I do it. I round it off. Every dollar is 50 pesos. So this is 50. Okay, so I, I would count that equivalent of a dollar. As I said, a dollar is 52.85 right now, but to save you time and, and thinking, a dollar for every 50 pesos. So this is 100 pesos, okay? And that would be considered basically $2, 100 pesos. This is 200 pesos, okay? So that would basically be considered $4. As I said, in denominations of 50, for every dollar, 200 pesos would be considered $4. Then we have the 500. So basically, a 500 would be considered basically $10. Then we have the 1,000 peso bill. That would basically be considered $20. And then the highest bill is the 2,000 peso bill, which is basically considered $40. So, so you have 2,000, 1,000, 500, 200, 150 and the change which is 25 10 5 and 1 peso so that is so you understand the money now we'll break it down to this i'm going to show this to you this is a blue and a green right but the problem with this is if you're out on a night of drinking if you're out having a good time a lot of clubs lights are really really dark sometimes you can mistaken a 2000 for a 500 it's happened to many of people it's happened to me you know, I try to keep my money a certain way so I know where my money is as far as the denominations. I put the, the lower numbers outside and I fold it in the, in the bigger bills inside. So when I know I'm going to the middle, that's where the bigger bills are so I know what I'm doing. But sometimes the club can be really, really dark in certain places and you can mistake in a 2000 for a 500 So just be careful with that one. Now, the one bill that is almost exactly the same is the 1000 and the 200 You see the, the, the color similarities right there? The only way you can really tell the difference is the 200 has faces on it. The 1,000 does not have any faces on it. So just so you're aware, almost the same exact color, if you see it right there, the color scheme is 
pretty much exact. I've had many times I had to double check a bill, but the 200 peso bill has faces on it. So you can't, uh, you can look at, look at it, make sure you have a face on it. If it only has the buildings on it, then you know that it's a thousand peso bill. So this bill, I always say to watch, the 2,500 can happen in dark, dark places, but the 1,000 and the 200 can happen almost all the time. You can, it can happen during the daytime. You can think you're giving a 200 and it's actually a thousand. So, you know, just be careful of that. Very, I don't know why they had the colors so similar. They're almost exactly the same. But uh, be careful with the two, 200 and the 1,000 peso bill. So I just wanted to shout that out because a couple people had some issues with money recently. And I said, you know what? Let me break down how to differentiate the money. As I said, $4. I know Canadians different. Euros are different. $4. I use $1 for every 50 pesos. I make it easy like that. As I said, 50 pesos, a dollar. 100 pesos, uh, $2. 200 pesos, $4. 500 pesos, $10. 1,000 pesos, 20 And 2,000, 40 $40. All right, Mr. Flip Flop, I hope you guys enjoy your holiday. If you're in town, come holler at me. Um, you guys have a very safe and Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah to my, to my Jewish friends. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy and be safe, all right? Mr. Flip Flop, we'll be back with more soon. I'm out. What's good, y'all? Mr. Flip Flop here, Sewer, with the fellas. <laughs> Everybody come and see Flip Flop at the restaurant. Really good food, awesome wings. You won't be disappointed. That's right, it's fat. Yes, sir. Free flop. You got the best wings in town. And the coldest beers. <laughs> yes, sir. Appreciate y'all, fellas, man. Okay. See that right there? Oh, nice.